I'm Ellis Mann. I'm a gymnast on the university men's gymnastics team, and I play the violin. I've been playing for a really long time. I started when I was six or seven years old, and then I joined a youth orchestra in Indianapolis, I think in sixth or seventh grade. And I played in that for a while. I kind of moved up through the ranks. There were two tiers of orchestra. I eventually got into the, the higher tier of the orchestra, and I ended up second chair my junior and senior year. Well, the main connection between the two is when you perform. There's, you know, it's kind of stressful to perform violin and it's stressful to compete at a gymnastics meet. And to be able to create something beautiful for a violinist or something that's beautiful as a gymnast, it's kind of, it requires some creativity on both parts. And I think they kind of play off each other. Jessica Granko is volleyball and I play the piano. My great aunt Lucille, she was a pianist, um, she was a professor, and she played all the time, and I don't know, I grew up around like three. She had me on the piano, chucking away, doing chopsticks, and Mary had a little lamb, Peter Piper picked a pipe of pickles, I don't know. Well, you know, at one point I'm like, I'm gonna be a pianist one day, I'm totally gonna do it, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna go travel across the world, but then I was like, you know, volleyball, that's nice too. You know, but I guess I couldn't do both. So then I turned into like a relaxing factor and um, anytime I needed a relief or if I was like really, really hyper or something, I would play it to relax me or if I was um, just kind of down or whatever, I would play it to calm me down and just to level me, uh, level me out. It's always been like my go-to, you know, I just for I forget every time how much it really does relax me and then once I sit down I can play for hours. I'm Ryan Wynn, I'm a redshirt senior for the football team. Um, I took, I uh, started lessons when I was in the first grade. Um, I continued taking them through my freshman year of college, but then the academic demands of uh, being a college student at the University of Minnesota, along with being a you know, college football athlete here, just can't, became too much to additionally tag on, uh, taking lessons and stuff. So uh, for the time being, I had stopped. Um, in fact, I'm actually planning on starting lessons again next week because uh, I'm done uh, with football here, and you know what? I got to keep myself busy, and uh, I want to get back into the piano world again. Obviously, as an office lineman, you know we're uh, about footwork and steps and repetition. You know we're practicing uh, Tuesday through Thursday. You know during two days, you know twice a day for uh, about three weeks in the summer there. Um, so it's really important you learn that that practice thing because sports is a kind of a recreational activity. It's a you know an exercise. It's kind of a kind of an endorphin way to get your endorphins out by. Uh, you know, my physical activity and, and bonding with your teammates. While piano, I like it because it's, it's solely on you, um, and it's a way of, you know, understanding, um, kind of understand the arts through music. Well, I think my violin career will probably last, last longer than my gymnastics career, because, I mean, you can't do gymnastics when you're 50, but you can still play violin. So I think I'll be enjoying it for a long time to come. I think, actually, playing a violin in a performance is more stressful than being a gymnast, so. If I can play violin, I can, I can do some backflips. 